Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today, guys, I'm checking out Young Justice Season 3, Episode 8, entitled Triptych. I had to actually look up how to pronounce it because I'm like, I've seen this word before, don't know how to pronounce it, so I had to look it up so I didn't fuck up the titling. But my god, the last episode, Episode 7, holy shit. I did not expect Vandal Savage backstory, his history, and then what's currently happening now with Vandal Savage and what's going on with his invasion coming to the Earth, and then it's another Starro, and then there's a Dark Side cameo, and then they show how the how Dark Side of Vandal Savage first met and like formed this pact, and the Anti Life Equation was mentioned. Explosion, 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 like brain exploding shit. Like what? And then we see the new people, Forger, Halo, and Geoforce, learning, like training, and you know, getting used to their abilities and getting their own outfits. Except for Forger, who didn't get a new outfit. But my God, that episode was fantastic, and I'm excited for this one. That's, it's, it, that that episode got me more pumped up for the continuation because. This just shows how great of a show this is. That they can go from a storyline involving around Geoforce and his origin and all that kind of stuff. And then a little bit about Forger and kind of this whole fake Orion stuff. To now, Vandal Savage in the last episode. Starro, Darkseid cameo. Jesus Christ. This is seriously one of the best shows that is currently airing right now. And if you're not in... in well, obviously, if you're watching this reaction, you're watching the show. But damn, I feel bad for the people that are not watching this show. So without further ado, guys, I'm excited. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's just get into it now, guys. Season 3, Episode 8 of Young Justice, Triptych. Let's go. Oh. Wow. Hello. Oh! Wow. Maybe I made the wrong decision. Oh, okay. Right when the league was splitting in half, we located someone who might have some intel on the League of Shadows. Oh. Finally, find my sister. That's, that's what. That's what he's going so for. Wonderful. Mm. The intel would be from my sister, Leon's mother. That's not so excellent. No. Forager is good at this game. Our understanding is she's <laughs> wonderful. They're gonna stop the plane. Oh, whoa. Wearing yourself out. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, Frozer. Go ahead, zap me. Absorbing lightning's totally my thing. You never had black lightning before. Ah! Wow. Yeah. Force. You have to bring him up. Oh, a new power. Wow. New power. Ho, 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 ho. It seems the doctor is out. Yes, literally. I'm glad you're alive. I do know they're being run out of Santa Prisca. Happy, ecstatic. Hug Leon for me. Mm -mm. She's like, I'm still, I'm still Cheshire first. She makes that choice. You're late. Oh. Nice. Oh. Wow. Here we go. I didn't expect this, but I freaking love it. Raise your right hand. Very good. Very good. Controlling. Okay. Oh, 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 crap. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. There you go. 
They're working really good as a team. Oh. Clayface die? I don't think so. Clayface. I don't think he's dead. He, he didn't make it. Yep. She is late. She's hey. calling halfway across the galaxy. Give her a minute. I'm loving this. Sorry, I'm like, oh. Had to bounce a signal from the javelin. Oh. He's back. Oh. Oh shit. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Ooh! How come his cuffs are still on? Are these all... Are these stories all connected somehow? I think so. Oh, they are. Sportsmaster liberated existing metas from prisons and transports. Okay. Clayface, Livewire, and Mist had all been taken while en route to Bell Red. Link 2, coercion. Clayface, Livewire, and Mist were all discovered to have Hatter's nanotech in their systems. Mm. Which would have been Brick's fate had he also been yeah. liberated. Finally, Link 3. Utilist Cheshire working with Sportsmaster? I thought she hated her father. It's unclear if either of you both were employed by the same organization. So the answer Maybe not. I forever release you from all external mental control of your actions. Thanks, kid. I used the same device to release Livewire and Mist after Nightwing's group left the Detroit airfield. Clayface, can what does this Reach device do? Why did Stag want it? Yeah. It's unclear. It was salvaged from a Reach warship down during the battle against the War World. Blue Beetle mm. had previously trans. Right now, I'm more concerned about Branchwater's most recent acquisition, Shade. Mm. Sportsmaster liberated him, turning him over to Hatter for a nanotech control injection. Oh. And he wound up as Cheshire's mind control. Wow, it's all connected. Which means he's still such a longer pulling Shade's strings. <laughs> yep. Between the seven of us, we're coordinating six teams of heroes, none of whom know we're working together. Is what we mm. all agreed to, Diana. Taking a page from the light's own playbook to fight fire with fire. We're kind of the anti-light. And that's a good thing? I don't like keeping the other members of the League in the dark. Mm. Worst case scenario, they need real deniability. Do you expect Superman Point. to lie under oath? No. Do you expect me to? There you have it, guys. Young Justice Season 3, Episode 8, Triptych. This was a pretty damn good episode. Wow. I was blown away that all this was connected. I'm like, is this starting to connect? Because each time when the story would end, like the part of the story before we go off into another mission, seeing another team working together or whatever, the camera would pan up and then go to the next thing. I'm like... Is this all connected? And it was. Like, once the timeline was placed correctly, then you see the connection. Then you see they're all in the same room together discussing their mission with the other people in the room. And they're all just standing there like, what? And then it turns out that these three groups that have formed at the beginning of this season where we had the Justice League and Young Justice, then things kind of fell apart. So now we have the Justice League Young Justice, and then Batman's group. And what's really interesting is that all three groups are supposed to be working by themselves, but the, the, the leaders, essentially, or the main people of each group are technically working together in secret, working together, giving each other intel, and basically found a connection of all these three separate missions and how they all connect into something that they're trying to figure out. So we have Magan, Aqualad now Aquaman, he's taken on that mantle, and Wonder Woman via hologram. We have Nightwing and Barbara, aka Oracle, and we have Batman, and I think it's Red Robin. I'm just gonna go with Robin, okay? I'm just gonna go with that. They're all telling their different situations, they that, that, like the different missions or whatever, and they see the connections. How Mad Hatter was injecting metahumans and controlling them, and then we see where Cheshire it was controlling the metas that have been injected. Because the guy with the shaved head and everything in the mission with Robin and Arrowette and Spoiler, and I think Orphan as well was the fourth person. Um, how they thought they were following Mad Hatter is actually Clayface who was being controlled by Mad Hatter, and the guy that got injected was the guy during the Flash. We got Flash and Sam. That was a cool little cameo bit with them seeing. 
the guy who had long hair, still had his cuffs, Sports Master returned, which was awesome, and seeing that guy that they stole, who was being transported, who was a prisoner, he was taken, and then he was taken to Mad Hatter, who got injected, and then that was Shade, I think the, na- the character name was Shade, and then we saw him at the very beginning, the first mission, using his powers to basically like rise out of the shadows, Shade, and was able to bring in, uh, I think her name was Mist, and Livewire in Cheshire, was controlling, I think, Shade, and I think uh, Livewire and Mist as well, yeah. So, it like they, they had the sequences out of order, but they were all connected. Oh, hit the mic there, Jesus. <laughs> but they were all connected, I'm just really excited. It was so cool, because episode 7 was two storylines, and they started to slowly kind of connect, not really, but... It was talked about briefly about the first metahuman, and it was about Vandal Savage, so it kind of connected. But episode seven was about Vandal Savage, his past, his current present, dark side cameo, seeing the team working together. Well, well Forger, Halo, and Geoforce training and working together as a team. And in this episode, it was three subsections, the three different groups going on different missions, seeing different characters working together, and how all three of these missions from three different hero groups were all connected in that all like the, the main Batman and Robin I'm calling I think it's Red Robin but it's Robin I'm just gonna stay with that Nightwing Oracle from a different group so we have the two groups Batman and his own group Nightwing his own group and then the Justice League all of them are working together but none of the other heroes a part of each of these groups don't know that they're that their team is working with the other teams so I wonder if this moving forward is going to like make some people question trust or if it's going to make them realize the bigger picture. And I'm hoping it's the second thing because I would hate it if the the rest of the Justice League, the rest of Batman's group and the rest of uh well I would consider the outsiders or Nightwing's team I would hate for them to lose trust in the like the leaders of of uh, of each of the group they're in, the team they're in, whatever you want to call it. Because that they're working together. Because in order for these heroes to succeed and to prevent all of this shit from happening, all the bad stuff and the trafficking and the metahuman trafficking, they all have to work together. They have to share intel at least. At least share intel. But that they're all secretly – like they're the anti-light as, uh, as it was phrased. So is it bad that they're not telling the rest of the team? In Batman's perspective, maybe it's for the best that – no one else besides the people in that room knew what was going on because they have the ability to deny everything in case they have to go under oath because the whole government thing where literally the Justice League got to a point where they physically can't do stuff without like approval and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like what they do in the MCU. I know Marvel and DC comparison. I know some people don't like that, but it's kind of like in the MCU where they had the Accords after Age of Ultron. And that was the whole reason for Civil War, because the government had to approve stuff. So it's kind of like in this situation where that's why Batman exited. He wanted to kind of go rogue and do his own stuff and not have to follow guidelines and follow committees and all this rules bullshit. Because Batman do, does what he wants, he get he, he's effective. And I just love hearing Bruce, uh, Bruce Greenwood. Sorry, <laughs> the, the butcher. I'm just having a long day. Bruce Greenwood as Batman. I love hearing his voice. It's really, really good. It's really good to see him back uh, playing Batman again. But it was just really cool to see how these stories... Where we see Sportsmaster again, awesome Cheshire Cat, that's cool. At least Cheshire, Cheshire Cat, yeah. And seeing some of these other characters in the mix, Flash, Shazam. We saw Livewire. We saw um, Mist. Seeing, uh, um, I, I, I keep thinking Ravager for some reason. Forager, Geoforce, and Halo working together as a team in that opening mission. And Halo discovered yet another new ability. Which is really cool. I think that's to me that's the most interesting new character out of the three of them: Geoforce, uh, Forager, and Halo. I think Halo is the most interesting because it seems like almost every episode now she discovers a new ability. Like in the last episode, she discovered holograms. Now she discovered she can emit like huge amount of light, like bright light, and it broke through Shade's like block or whatever, or his like basically defense uh, with his uh, Shade ability. So pretty intense stuff there. Um, this was a, a really good episode. I'm going to say pretty solid. It's not, it wasn't solid. This was a good episode. I really dug this episode. I'm excited to see what episode 9 is. I'm going to check it out tomorrow and see what it's all about. But damn, this show just keeps getting better. And it keeps it keeps me hooked. It keeps me hooked because to go from Vandal Savage 
Dark Side, all that kind of stuff. Another Starro, and then seeing uh, you know the three new members training and all that kind of stuff and building up to working better as a team in episode seven to this episode where it reveals all three of the sub like su like the subgroups are technically all working together all the leaders are working together for each of the groups it's really adding more mystery and adding more intrigue and i, I was thinking about this too and i didn't mention this in the last episode with vandal savage and all that but i the, the whole thing about where at some point vandal savage and dark side are going to have to fight it out and winner takes all the fact that the intro shows earth and apocalypse I think that they're hinting that that's going to be the back that that might be the back half of this season is Vandal Savage v Dark Side. That might be what it is. That might be the main focus. I'm not really sure, but damn, I'm excited to sell. I'm curious to know what you guys thought about this episode. Let me know in the comment section below. What were some of your favorite moments? It was really cool seeing uh, some characters return and seeing that the groups are working together. Essentially, the leaders are, and just seeing how it's all connected, and how they're uh, sharing intel. It was just cool to see. Um, some returning characters that we saw earlier in the season and now they're back again. It was just cool shit. But there you have it, guys. That's my reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.